Welcome back guys, I'm Balin. And I'm Theo. And today, I'm showing Theo right here, BTS Black Swan music video. Okay, interesting. Yes. For me, mm -hmm. that song is like one of my favorites of BTS for sure. Right, why is that? I don't that? know, I love the video and to, like the meaning behind the song itself. Okay. And the meaning behind the video as well is very cool for me. Okay. Yes. What is it specifically? So. According to Joan Hub News Agency, Black Swan continues the team exploring one's ego from BTS' previous album, uh -huh. Map of the Soul Persona, and it's inspired by Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung's theories of human psychology. What? I'd never expected that BTS would have like lore. Oh, they do. It was inspired have, by that type they of have uh, bit, academia. Right? I, I think I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm correct, right? Okay. BTS lore is very much focused on a lot of psychology work what yes really yes a what? lot that is that is lot. really philosophy, interesting philosophy so much philosophy so much psychiatry all of that so much psychological stuff that i wow. even don't understand do you think it's themselves that are coming with that or yeah, like their team their writers sure, okay themselves is rm rm reads a lot of that stuff and he that's knows really so much of yeah that. the guy seems pretty intellectual yeah. from what i've seen like he's well spoken exactly yeah articulate and it's more like mm -hmm. there's this there's this quote that I read, like I read here. Yeah. A dancer dies twice. Once when they stop dancing, and this first death is the more painful. Aww. Yes, Damn. that's what the song. Like their passion dies in a yes. way you could say. Is this song is about your passion dying? Okay. And they're scared of that. Oh. Black Swan. So. So it's also like themselves exactly. and them having a fear for maybe losing the passion for their own art, that mm -hmm, being exactly. music. Yes. Sure. That's, so that's the, what the song and the video is going to be about. Interesting. So you okay. ready? It's very deep. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Also, guys, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of our content. And in that case, hit the bell for notifications so you know when new videos are actually going to be uploaded. Lastly, if you also want to give us a little tip, you can do so via PayPal. There's a link in the description to PayPal. We're currently trying to save up for a new professional camera so you can see us in uh, extra high definition. Also, mm -hmm. if you do so, you can also add a little note to your tip so uh, we know what you actually want um, us to react to next. Anyways, guys, let's do it. Let's watch BTS Black Swan official MV music video. Let's do it. One, two, three, let's go. I'm gonna stop real quick and just say, wow, thank you so much for the context. Now I actually yeah. understand uh, specifically <laughs> what it is that they're singing about in a much uh, deeper way. Yeah, and actually, it's, context is cool before. It's so interesting song. that they're incorporating elements like this. This is really rare to see in pop music, at least. Very sure. rare. Yeah, I, I don't see it that much. Music video is super slick until now. I mean, it's clearly like a lot of money behind uh, the mm -hmm. production here. A lot of intelligent, very good dancing, talented people. That, very good dancing. Oh, for sure. sure, of course. I mean, there are as much dancers as singers, aren't they? Exactly. Are known for that. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting until now. Mm -hmm. um, let's keep on going. <laughs>
I love the instrument. I've never actually realized that about BTS. There is a lot of harmonization done. Like a lot oh, of their yeah? vocals are inc incredibly chorusy. Um, if you okay. listen to uh, the actual vocals, it's both the true. rap, everything else, it's essentially like six or five vocals like playing on top of each other essentially. I didn't the whole thing. know that. Yes. You just try to listen oh. and you can hear like small, like essentially imperfections and how like, you know, I guess like there's vocals beneath the vocals like yeah it's, yeah yeah it's impo it's impossible for a human being to be like 100 percent on top of the other vocal oh. that would also create like a phase effect that you also don't want from a technical perspective and there's like five or six vocals you can hear on top of each other creating that effect well they are seven so probably it's all the singers doing it um a lot of the time I don't or know in this it's case one it's it's a lot of the time it's oh. literally just the same person um, doing but it. It's doing it again. It's true. You sure. have done that in your music. Yeah, it's it's very common. Yeah, it's, you do it's a that. common feature, and it adds an extra layer to the melody. To the melody. It makes it just quite simply sound more beautiful. More there's more depth to depth to it yeah, essentially. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And I've noticed that BTS does that a lot. Oh, in their, I actually uh, didn't know that. Songs. That's interesting. I, I didn't realize that until now either. But really, when I'm like trying to analyze it, that seemed that's like a, a thing that I see them doing more than most K-pop groups. Cool. Yeah, cool. That's cool. I didn't know that. No, it's Don't interesting. And also, video is obviously super slick. But the video is amazing. I love the, the place that they are in. Like where can I get their uh, Where can I get their skincare routine? That's what I really want to know. <laughs> Bro, I want to know it too. <laughs> um, Give it to me now. <laughs> totally. I I think it's uh, nice, and I understand why it has a lot of views. I know that sounds super basic, but it's true. So uh, let's yeah, keep on going. Yeah, for sure. When something is good, it just has to. Be. I don't know about that. It's almost like ballet-ish, isn't yeah, it? This has a, like a very ballet-ish aesthetic to it, yeah. or style, holistic and inspiration. This place they're in is beautiful. Undoubtedly. Ooh. Oh no, what, what does that mean? I don't know. Maybe the shadow about. himself, maybe his depths or something like that. So, regarding the actual topic of the song, I thought it was a um, very interesting topic to deal with and something that you rarely see talked about. Um, it's very introspec introspective when it comes to something that you can really like empathize with and also understand that they themselves have probably also like experienced or at least had the fear of experiencing you know mm -hmm. losing passion for for your art oh and i can imagine that can be super easy to actually lose when you are um, expected to do it like all the, the time, time which is um what many when people within the k-pop industry has to do it's true and korea in general in that way it's true when you you might have passion for something you love doing it mm -hmm. but when you literally it's like your job it literally becomes your job yes. it's not your passion that much it, the job and like that you have to keep producing music and producing videos etc whatever it is it it gains more weight than your passion right so it, it gets a little bit more drowned oh yeah way. for sure how many views does this song actually have i mean i saw mm. it was like a lot but i didn't notice how many oh my what what Almost 500, 500 million. million damn that is a lot 
Yes. That is a lot of views. Yes. Is this like one of the biggest ones of BTS or which one? No, I think he had. They have bigger ones, like a billion views. Twelve something. million likes, by the way. That's it's like a good song. That means like at least at least ten like million it. people have liked it because some people probably liked it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you now just we liked like it as well. It too. All right, Valen, uh, Valen and Theo reacts officially has liked a uh, Black Swan official music video. <laughs> well, I it's did like the song. It did deserve a like. I'm not gonna lie. What do you think of the video? Well, I mean, regarding the actual concept of the uh, music video, it seemed to me like it took a lot of inspiration from European ballet and sort of intellectual high society, if you will, which also does make sense considering that um, you gave me this context in the start mm -hmm. where they were also talking about, uh, I think it was like European philosophers, essentially, and young, uh, artists know, young and whatnot. Young sounds Korean. Yeah. I don't know who that philosopher is. Isn't it a German name, Jung? Check again, please. Oh, is he? I believe it was a German, or maybe I am uh, maybe completely the, wrong. Maybe the names sound Asian for me. Okay, okay, interesting. Carl Jung. Carl Jung. Oh, that's a, I know he's German. Uh, yeah, he's Swiss, I told you. <laughs> he knew. Yeah, he he's knew. a very famous, uh, I guess, I heard him before, but from the name, I thought he was more like Asian. No, uh, ah. no, he's a, uh, no, he's a very famous uh, intellectual or was a very famous intellectual in Europe. Oh, yeah. And um, it true. does the definitely. The video goes more to European ballet and like exactly as you were saying. Yes. With the philosopher. And it does make sense um, considering the subject matter that has uh, inspired the actual music video. Mm -hmm. So that I found really interesting. And yeah. I, I feel like those two things play really well together. And the actual song itself has this uh, certain dreaminess to it. Very, uh, very much. I think the way that they're achieving that is by keeping it a little bit actually minimalistic and adding a lot of reverb to kind of fill out the space. Mm. You understand? Yeah. That it's essentially, there's not so many instruments to take up the uh, room of the song, but what is actually there has just been essentially uh, smothered in reverb. I it's true. Yes. It's true, I understand Which that. is the oh. easiest and most common way to make something sound more dreamy. More dreamy. You add a lot of delay, you know, echo, 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 mm -hmm. and a lot of reverb, essentially room sound, but yeah. preferably a big room. Mm -hmm. And that's how you make something sound dreamy. Well, maybe it's because they actually are dancing and they are in a big room themselves in the, in the, music, in the mm -hmm. video as well. No. No, I don't think so. No, no, I know, but like, it kind of goes with the video. Sure, it does go, but I think it's, I don't actually think that was what they were going for. No, nah, I, I know, I think it's I more know. just, I mean, it's a big stage. Yeah. Anything with a big roof the is going to have The theater that they ambience. were in, I really want to know if it's like, like fake, they did it for the video, or it's like an actual place. Honestly, I don't know because I Since was told. Since we watch Blood, Sweat, and Tears, yeah, you thought it was an actual museum. I thought it was a museum, and is apparently not. <laughs> it actually seems what? like BTS really has a um, common, like a theme going forward, True. with taking a lot of inspiration from like European academia and high yes. cultural they society do. of uh, Europe. They do, they okay. do for sure a lot. The, okay. BTS has a lot of lore regarding a lot of philosophers and a lot of all of these things. Yeah, they're taking and the aesthetic I from get that. confused. Mm -hmm. Even I get confused. We well, really need to get more deep into I, it. I understand why they would. I mean, it's a very it's a very no-brainer to go for that type of aesthetic because it just I mean, that's almost where modern aesthetics kind of come from. Mm -hmm. Or I suppose, I mean, it was people who had so much money and a lot of time on their hands and, and wanted to look better than other, everybody else. So, you know, they uh, they invested a lot in, in, you know, culture, arts and everything else. I think that's a good concept they have yeah. going on. I wonder how it actually became the BTS to start doing this concept. Because I don't think BTS started doing this concept since their debut. No. I don't think so. They were no. going more for rap stuff. That's true. Maybe I'm completely wrong. No, it's true. What the limited, very limited amount that I've seen from like BTS's early stuff that you've like been playing. Yeah. Has uh. It writes more rap, more right. like dark. No, it was more kind of like inspired by American hip hop. American hip hop, and right? And early 2010s uh, pop music. Yeah. Well, this is a much different aesthetic. Yeah. Much different aesthetic. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments if what we're saying is total gibberish. No, but when did it change? No, yeah, no, it's when true. I I think it changed with Blood, Sweat, and Tears in okay. 2016. Okay. I think. I mean, that's a that's a seven-year-old song, right? It's mm -hmm. seven years old. It's literally there in the yeah. recommendations for this, and it says seven years ago. I guess, and it also has almost a billion views. A yeah. billion views. That song is so good. That song became so viral. Jesus around. Christ. <laughs> and, um, I mean, considering that they probably had a big success with that, maybe they then went, 
let's go for this aesthetic. This is something that's working. But at the same time, I think they wanted to leave that hip hop aesthetic. Okay. For they, they didn't want to do it anymore. They didn't. Sure. That's what I think I know. They, I they, understand. they wanted to change completely. Totally. And I agree. I, I like it. I like their old songs too. I need to show you some old yeah. songs in their debut and everything. But I like their old songs. It's a completely different aesthetic, but yeah. I like it too. Yeah, and yeah. I like this too. Like I like both. It's funny how some people, some fans, mm. want them to go back to that aesthetic. The hip hop or the hip hop, this? the hard videos, more dark videos, more mm. sad videos, things like that they want to go. More sad. I mean, this was pretty sad in a way. It's true, it, but it dealt but, with a but it's not the topic. same. It's not the same. You haven't seen their old stuff. It's no. very different from 2015. They have yeah. some. Videos, I think it's called "I Need You" and "Run." Okay. Very different aesthetic. You have never seen BTS like no? that. No, I gotta check it out. Then. You have to check it out <laughs> for sure. The, BTS just have so many concepts. I yeah. feel like, and they're such a wide group. They have so much albums and so many songs. Yeah, they've been. How long have they been active for? Like 10 years. 2013. Okay, so 10, 10 years. years. My yeah. God, over 10 years. Yeah. Wow. Okay. A lot of years for Crazy. sure. Crazy, but they all—they ought to be in their 30s then by now, right? Or how much are we I think on? The oldest is Jin, and he's 30. Okay. He's from 1992. Yeah. Okay. How much? Is that? Uh, that's that makes you that's like 30, eight years more than me. 30, like two. So 31, 31, because I'm 23. So it's just 30. Yeah, 31, no. 31, 32. 31, 30. Yeah. So yeah, BTS has been a lot of years in the game for sure. Oh my god. And you need to keep exploring them. <laughs> I'm all in. I mean, it was really interesting to really like pay attention to uh, the intricacies mm -hmm. of what actually goes into uh, the lyrics. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. It's actually cool that you have English subtitles. It's very needed. Oh, for sure. But I'm happy that they keep doing things in Korean. Mm -hmm. But it's very needed, the English subtitles. Totally. Sure. I mean, they are a Korean group after all. Yeah. But I think it seems like the majority of their audience by now is not Korean. They might oh, play, make up a plurality, but not a majority. In numbers, obviously, mm -hmm. like so many international fans they have. Right. Of course, yes. Right. Yeah, but they are huge in Korea. Oh, Everybody I'm, knows them. I nobody mean, are, is nobody who does I remember uh, hearing or reading something regarding BTS legitimately making up a certain part of the GDP <laughs> of South Korea. Literally. Like if BTS just like decided to teleport to another dimension tomorrow, it would like genuinely have an impact <laughs> on the Korean economy. <laughs> That's true. pretty hilarious. And now they got to go and be foot soldiers in the army. But you know. You know, they will they, come back in They were years. offered to not go. I think they were offered to not go by yeah. the president. They say no, they refuse. I, if I had been them, right, I would have done like a medium thing. Like an, like kind of like on and off thing, maybe like 20 hours a week. Some like a yeah. home defense type of like other thing. Yeah, right. And it's still produced. Right, right. There should be something like there that. There should be something. But for they, anyone probably who were, like, they probably were offered those things and they just refused. Right. For anyone who has like a really high intensive career. Also people who just like have a business going. I, I don't think it's fair no, to right. like do that in, in that way. Not even the Israelis do that. You know, no? like they have, no, they have like a really, like basically everyone has to go to the army. But I don't think it's three years. I think it's like one or two years. And, no, in um, Korea it's two years. Oh, okay, two years. Two years. Okay, I, maybe but it's like there. But it's still sad. I never thought about that. No. That like people with businesses and all yeah, that. Yeah, a lot of people have to give oh. up so much. Oh, no. It, yeah, I feel like that is not a very smart thing to do. No. But, oh, well, I understand the but geopolitical situation of South Korea is quite precarious. Exactly. And they will come back. Uh-huh. 2025. But, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like comment subscribe as i said and if you want to give us a little tip you can also do so on paypal we're also soon coming out with a patreon where we'll mm -hmm. be reacting to all sorts of things yes more information to follow soon mm -hmm. anyways guys see you in the next one and thank you so much for watching our video thank you guys bye guys bye bye, bye guys